August 30th, Wednesday, 2017. It is day 223 in a Donald Trump White House regime. Reports are coming in that there is no possible way to prevent a chemical explosion at the Houston Arkema plant in the next six days or so. Actually, the plant is about 25 miles northeast of Houston. So they have evacuated all the residents in about a 1.5 mile radius around the plant since they are expecting the explosion. Apparently the plant will degrade, the chemicals in the plant will degrade and lead to a fire and or explosion within the next six days. As I said, this plant is about 25 miles northeast of Houston. And the rain is, I guess it's heading towards Louisiana or already in Louisiana. So not only is the rain a huge problem, they have also lost power to their cooling systems, which keep the chemicals stable. And now that they can no longer cool the chemicals, they are going to become unstable. Hence, they expect an explosion. Kind of reminds me of how America is going down. You know, I mean, when it rains, it pours. America is becoming unstable, and I doubt if we're going to be able to, to prevent the apocalypse. But just like when the chemical plant goes under, they'll rebuild the chemical plant. And when America goes under, we will rebuild. The question is, who will be in control when we rebuild? That's the big point, because we have to have new leadership. We need people with common sense. People who are for America first, obviously. Well, there's not much news on Donald Trump today. I'm not sure if it's the Hurricane Harvey, the historic flooding in Houston, or is it John Kelly setting up a perimeter around Donald Trump. I think John Kelly is trying to shut the Trump circus down. And he may be doing a good job of it. For example, when Sebastian Gorka resigned, he wanted to hand deliver his resignation to Trump. But John Kelly put a stop to it. So Kelly is definitely putting a perimeter, you know, on a fence around Trump. And I think his, I think he's trying to shut the dog and pony show down because it was getting out of control. When you're talking about Ivanka, Jared, the Slumlord, and Bannon, all these characters, they were basically idiots. And they were going at each other. It was a dog and pony show. It was a complete fiasco. And I am afraid that John Kelly came in and shut it down. Even Ivanka has to uh, make an appointment to see Trump. And this is very, very good. The only problem is, in the future, I probably won't have much to talk about if there's no circus. If John Kelly's going to shut the dog and pony show down, well, it's not good for me, but I'll be honest with you, it's good for the country. It's good for America, and it's good for Donald Trump. So, the dog and pony show, a.k.a. the Trump circus, it had a good run. What was it, maybe seven months, eight months, and it looks like it's up. That's okay, we had a good run. And now it's time to get down to business. If we do a Google on Donald Trump today, we get about 286 million results in 0.83 seconds. I believe he's in Missouri, and he's pushing for a tax overhaul. Nobody really knows much about it. Uh, Donald Trump claims it's going to help the middle class. Well, let me translate what that means in Trump speak. In Trump speak, that means uh, it's going to help the rich. (laughs) Anytime Donald Trump says it's going to help somebody, just put in help the rich. I mean, look at him. Wall Street bastards, billionaire. I mean, everybody around him is a billionaire. So, of course, it has to help the billionaires. And in, in their mind, they think if it helps the billionaires, it'll help the middle class. Um... Unfortunately, it has not been really working out that way. 
because there's about 96 million of us without a job, without a pension, and with no hope. Do the, do the billionaires give a shit? No, as long as they get their tax breaks. So when it comes to a tax system, a fair tax system that our founding fathers would agree with, well, I'll believe it when I see it. A matter of fact, why don't we eliminate the income tax altogether? Because the Constitution and our founding fathers said it is against American law. I mean, that's how this country was formed. There was a Constitution. There's a piece of paper that said income tax is illegal. Somehow in 1913, those international bankers, those bastards, got, got it through. At midnight, somewhere around Christmas at midnight, they tricked America into an income, income tax. It's just insane. For over a hundred years now, Americans have been putting up with this bullshit. It's time to go back to the Constitution. So, why don't we look for some miscellaneous news as we wind this segment down. Harvey is a tropical depression now, but it's still packing a punch. Still packs a wallop there with a lot of rain. I believe it's heading to Louisiana. U.S. is paying, paying extortion money to North Korea. Why does that not surprise me? I'm not even going to click on the story because we pay money to just about everybody to be our friends. Every single damn... Bloodsucker out there, got their hand out. You want us you to be your friend? Give us money, America. We're like suckers. We're the biggest suckers in the world. We provide security for Europe. We do everything. We're a bunch of morons. We're a bunch of idiots. No, okay, it's not the American people. The American people are smart and clever. It's the people in government that are morons and idiots. And what the people in government do? They waste our money. What? They waste our money 6,000 miles away. I mean, it's, a, it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm getting tired. I'm getting sick and tired of talking about these idiots. Wasting our money over in some desert. The money going down some black hole as 96 million Americans. Got our thumb up our ass. We got nothing to do. While they're playing around in the desert over there. Jeez, I swear to God, I sometimes get tired of even thinking about it. I mean... Are the people in the military, the people in the government, are they tone deaf? Are they totally deaf? Are they morons? Are they idiots? I mean, aren't they listening to us? Of course they're not listening to us. You know why they're not listening? Because they don't give a shit. All they want is the money. As long as they get the money, they're happy. They don't give a shit what we have to say. So while we're talking about money that we don't have, did I tell you about that huge factory that broke ground today that could employ 10,000 American deplorables? No, I didn't tell you about it, did I? Because we're broke. We have no money. So Donald Trump has to get down on, the hand, on his hands and knees and he has to beg Chinese companies, Taiwanese. He has to beg the Asians to come over here and open up a factory and put us to work so we can work underneath the Chinese bosses. Because we're broke. We, cannot, we don't even have the money to build one little factory. I think the last time the government lent some money, I think Obama lent some money to some solar company in San Diego, and they went out of business. It was a scam. They took the American taxpayer money. The company went under within a year, and Obama probably got some kickbacks. It's all, all these leaders, all these people want to do is kickbacks, scams, fraud until we totally go under, until America hits that iceberg. And when we hit that iceberg, well, I guess that's when the fun begins.